So what's the main reason why people use you? Like you. Like you, what else? A bit more powerful. Trust. Trust. Is it your feet? No. So why are we running scared? Tell me why we're running scared. Why are we running scared? Because we've had it easy. We've had it so easy. Right Move's been our best negotiator for what? 20 years? No, it's not even that. 2000 it starts. And we've relied heavily upon the external factors to grow our business. It, your business is on your nose. It's you, which is what Chris has mentioned. How do you put you out there and be the digital mayor of your community? Or mayor of and what we did is we decided to work with our community. So one of the first things we did, and bear in mind, in May 2012, I had no vendors at, on the 1st of May 2012. By the end of May 2012, we had 20 new listings, and we were number one agent in the first month in our town. We just opened two and a half miles from the town centre in an office that was probably about the size of this table. And there was two of us, me and a lady called Nikki, and uh, we stole my father-in-law for the photograph and my wife to make it look as if we had a bit more you know, about us, some maturity and a few more people in the business. But what we decided to do is, what's our mantra? It's about putting people first. So I took that to our community. We wrote to every head teacher asking them if they needed support. And what do you think they all said? How much does, hands up who's got kids. Hands up if you were a kid. <laughs> Hands up if you still wish you were a kid. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there was a study done a hundred years ago, five-year-olds, a hundred five-year-olds were measured on their self-belief and self-worth. What percentage of those kids, at the age of five, because what do you think about when you're five? What sort of things do you think about? Sweets and toys. Sweets and toys. What percentage of those kids felt really great about themselves? 95%. They got the same hundred kids at the age of 18. They measured them again, the same kids, right? And what was the percentage there? Five percent, because you probably watched the video. Now, <laughs> but my point, but my point is, we've been, you, we're always conditioned. Who, who looks at property eye every morning? Stop. Why? What does it do for your business? What does it do for your growth? Get back into your head. It's a six-inch game. John helped me an awful lot when we started the business, and so did my wife. They told me, use what you're good at. And if you watch my videos of five and a half years ago, I wasn't very good at videos, by the way. But what I did is I, I really love people. Hands up if you love people. Right, that's why we're here. Don't forget, you can go into your community. So what we did is we wrote to the schools and we offered them a revenue-led model, which was for every parent that come to us, who bought and sold through us, or let, we'd pay them a commission back to go towards their trust. Now you believe me, every school needed some funding. How many schools took us up on it? Five. <laughs> there was less than 10% that actually said, yeah, well, come, 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 come. So we wrote them again and we got a few more schools. We started to go and do some stuff at the schools, like sponsor the fates and do all these different things that we do. But we actively played a part in our community. So my market was families. That was it. When we started Gigs & Co, I'm a family guy. There's a connection there straight away. I believe if we can help families, we're going to be able to help people sell and buy. So it made sense. Let's work on families. Where do families spend a lot of their time? Well, a lot of people, including my wife at the time, spent a lot of their time on Facebook, social media, and in those circles. So I decided to take our business, and what we've done, so we haven't advertised <coughs> properties on our Facebook page. I never advertised my properties on my Facebook page. I talk about what I did and why we started the business. I share those stories, and I talk about going to climb mountains and raising money and getting involved in the community. Because what do you think that brings? Interest. interest. Why does it bring interest, do you think? It's local. It's local. Is it relevant? Yeah. It is relevant. Because a lot of it was about their schools, their kids' schools. We're working in there, we're presenting stuff, the kids are doing pictures of houses, we're putting them on leaflets, and they get money back to the schools. Everything was geared around the community. So my, my referrer in the first year, one of the best referrers we had, was the community. Over 70% of our vendors, and bear in mind, we got to number one in year one, okay? Not just on new listings, on total sales, everything, <coughs> in year one. Because we worked our community. 
if someone referred to us, we would give them money back, whether it goes to a church, whether it goes to their school, whatever it was, we would reward our referrers. We created Raven fans. We were the community agent. But we were in an office, don't forget, two and a half miles from the town centre, and no one could find where we were. When the phone rang in month one, we used to get really excited, and we'd go, great, the phone's ringing, and you pick it up, and they'd say, where are you? No one could find us, but we started to build this business, and we built it by working with our community, and we publicised it. It was in the paper, it was on leaflets, it was all about our why and our mission, our vision, and it went through every stream, every channel, every person that we come across. They talk the same language. The big thing, the big why, why people come to you, why people use you, is because of trust. Full stop. And if you come across as authentic as you, and you're genuinely doing the things that you believe in, people will connect with you. Don't be scared, don't be in fear of these things. You know, the first time I stood up, I, I couldn't get words out of my mouth. And, it, and I, I tell you, every single time you try something the first time, it's, it, it is that fear, that, that block, which is what you're talking about, and you've got it out there, and look at the results. But I'm telling you, if you can get into your community and you can interact with the head teachers, parents, and you can really make that impact, you're the person to go to. And if you're doing the landlord farming, you've got one angle, and if you're the person in the community, and you're the one, the authority, the digital mayor, if you like, then you've almost kind of like, at both angles, you're the authority. You're the person they trust, plus you know your stuff. And I think that's definitely the way to go. And by the way, talking to you this morning, I learn. Because I think, well, maybe we should boost a few of these things. Because obviously, it's all about trying to discover what works and trying these things out. Listening to John Paul earlier, I'm sitting there going, I'm a people person. Everything's about getting under the skin of people, building belief, and getting them out there to go and do what they need to do. And I'm sitting there going, Jesus, that's how you run a business. I think some people might forget that properties are content themselves. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's the most variable content we get. And there's a lot of emotion when you buy a house. Who buys houses with emotion or logic? What is it? Emotion or logic? Maybe. What if you can connect the house emotionally to your audience, which is probably why I'm saying to you, that's the bit that you hit. And why is the emotional buying that the most important buyer will ever get? Because they won't pull out. Yeah, and also they'll offer more than anybody else. And they'll pay the best price, which is what we were talking about yeah. earlier. Because let's be honest, you've got three choices for a vendor. Do you want a quick sale? Do you want a cheap fee? Or do you want the best price? What do they always go for? But the market's telling you differently at the moment, and it isn't. It's still trust. People, it's very difficult to not win an instruction if they trust you. Don't go away from what we know works. I started my business, I wish my processing systems were good as this guy, by the way, um, but my people feel and believe that they are the best. And not just the best, there's no we are the best, you know, you go to every office. No, it's not about that. It's actually about making sure that they get the challenges and the needs of the client and they over deliver. Right? That's what it's about. And if you can go into your community and communicate all the stuff that you believe in and all the help that you can give the community by raising money, um, by being involved in different charities, making families and sports teams your, 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 your goal or your focus, you're going to make yourself someone that they see as a person that they want to work with, or certainly invite you around. And that's what's happened for us.